In this image, the president of Brazil is embracing a keynote speaker at the opening ceremony of the NetMundial conference in Sao Paulo. Advocates of a free and open internet had a lot to celebrate at this event because President Rousseff kicked things off by signing the Marco Seville, Brazil's Internet Bill of Rights. It was a huge victory for proponents of net neutrality and free expression online. Contrast this image with what's happening here in the U.S., where the public has been sparring with the FCC chairman over the net neutrality proposal that the commission is officially introducing today. The new version of the rules could potentially allow big internet service providers to charge companies a premium for internet fast lanes, making it especially tough for small businesses and startups to compete. Things weren't always so friendly in Brazil, either. This past March, telecom lobbyists tried to gut the net neutrality provisions from the Marco Seville. In response, though, Brazilians quickly mobilized to save the internet, and the government listened, passing the final version with strong rules that prevent service providers from charging higher rates for content. As the FCC finalizes its rules in the coming months, it would be wise to look to other parts of the world as a model.